here with USC defensive lineman Delvon Simmons. Delvon, getting near the end of fall camp, the dog days are over. How do you think this camp has been so far? I think it's going good, but there's a lot more work to be done. We need, we all need to still improve, come out every day and work. But uh, so far, so good. I think so. And then talk about for the defense going up against the up-tempo offense, the adjustment you guys have had to make. Uh, we had to make a big adjustment because of last year we didn't really go as fast. But this year, you know, with the spring that we had and now that we're in camp, it, it actually helped. But uh, it's, it's, it's different, but it's, it's better. It's, we're, it, we're getting used to it. We're adjusting, and it's coming along great. And then talk about for you, there's been a little bit of movement on, on the line. They had you take some reps at nose tackle uh, when Antoine Woods was out. Talk about how that experience has been. Uh, it's been great. I mean, uh, I played nose tackle in high school too, so uh, it's just adjusting from like a more single blocks to more doubles and, and down blocks. And, you know, but uh, it, it's been great, you know, just trying to do whatever uh, my team needs me to do to help, help them out. It's the kind of case where whatever you need to do to get on the field, that's what you're going to do. Yes, sir. Anything. And then talk about it when you go back to defensive end. What are the different responsibilities there as opposed to the nose? Uh, it's really not too much different. You know, you still got to do your job. But uh, out there, it's just more. there's more open space than, like, the inside with the nose. And the side with the nose, you got to worry about, like, a gap, a gap, both A gaps actually, and then outside you got to worry about their B gap, and then you got to worry about the outside contain just in case the quarterback scrambles and stuff like that. And you got a veteran out there that you're able to watch in Antoine Woods that knows. Talk about what you see from him that you're able to learn from. Uh, being stout, like he's real strong in there in the, in the middle. So, like I ask him all the time, like what I need to do, and like he always like stands in the back whenever I'm going to make sure I'm doing the right things or like if I need like. If I need to do something to adjust, he'll adjust me and help me out and keep me on the right track. And then Leonard Williams is a guy who's got a lot of attention this year. What it's like to watch him on the field, what you take from him? Oh, that's great. Like, I always try to I always try to critique myself as hard as I can. So I always watch Leonard because of the ability he got and the background he has. So I always try to watch him and see what he's doing that I'm not doing so I could get better and be just as good or, you know, Right. Yeah. And if you're critiquing yourself, you say, what do you like about your game right now? What are you trying to work on? Uh, I feel I'm pretty strong in the run. Uh, I got to work on shedding blocks a little quicker and stronger and uh, transitioning from pass to run when, like, I don't know it's coming, you know. Appreciate your time. Oh, thank you. For Delvon Simmons, this is Gary Pasquitz, ESPN.